All right, now many of you out there might have watched a very prolific documentary uh, on a certain network that has changed the world, so to speak, uh, telling people to go more plant-based. A lot of people are doing it, including Lucy Bartholomew, who is a champion ultra trail runner. So if she's doing it and it's working for her, maybe it's something that we all should try. Now, of course, she's here in the mother city for the Cape Town leg of the ultra trail tour around the world. Um, and you said that it's something that you've been doing for quite a while. Is it six years? Six years, What yeah. was the initial decision for you to actually go plant-based? Uh, I think it was, you know, it was a kind of a fad at the time and yeah. I was just kind of a young, in, young, interested girl. <laughs> um, and yeah, I stuck with it because I just felt the, di the difference and I yeah. felt the, the improvements and yeah, I kind of have just gotten used to that way of life. Tell me about those, those improvements and the difference that you felt in mind, body, holistically and how long after you started did you actually start feeling those, those changes? Yeah, so as an athlete, you know, your sleep and your recovery are obviously some of the most important things and that's kind of what I saw the biggest improvement in is that I could go to bed, I was sleeping really well and I was getting ready to train and I was super excited and yeah. just kind of very clear-minded um, and, yeah, I just kind of enjoyed it, really yeah. loved it. What's your ultimate favourite plant-based meal when you're feeling really ravenous? Do you know, like, a smoothie bowl like we're going to make today is probably one of my favourite things in yeah. the world to have. Yeah. Excellent. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, but it is delicious. All right, you can SMS the keyword drink to 33728 and we'll send you a link to the recipe as well as the ingredients list. Okay, let's get to it. What do we need? Cool. So we've got a blender and you need a strong one for this because mm -hmm. it's going to be a bit of a thicker smoothie. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got three frozen bananas. All righty. So whole, just kind of chopped into... Chopped in, help the blender out a little there. bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you strong, but not that strong. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Right. Um, we've got some ginger. Good so just sheesh. nice. To, yeah, maybe so, we just put a little bit of that in. <laughs> what is it? It's a whole lot <laughs> That'd be of good ginger. For us. Okay. Um, and then we're going to put some spinach in. Yes. So we're going to make it green, nice and healthy. This stuff blends down to nothing, doesn't yeah. taste like anything, but it's very beneficial. I see you've frozen it as well. Is that is yeah. it prefer it just to kind of keep just everything to keep nice the and cold? Thickness, yeah. And you've gone with the, the rougher kind of spinach. I know a lot of people, when it comes to making smoothies, would go with the baby spinach, but this is the rougher kind of. Yeah, you know, good blend. Blender, we'll just blend whatever you put in. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> uh, some almond milk. Good. So we're just going to put a little bit of that in. Mm -hmm. Not too much. If you want it to be runnier, you put more in. Ah, then it would be more smoothie smoothie yeah. than smoothie bowl right. smoothie. Shove some more of this in. Yeah. Don't be shy with the spinach. No. That'll that'll yeah. be blended yeah. right down. Yeah. Well, what what do you think is is the most powerful or um, I guess healthiest plant-based food in, in that that's that's out there. Um, I think like things like uh, the the real uh, peasant food, like the potatoes, yeah. the spinach, the cheap ones. You know, all mm -hmm. these superfoods that are coming out. That's great. So you don't have to go for like the really expensive you don't have to, stuff. Don't waste your money on that. No. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Being going plant-based doesn't have to be all that expensive, no. guys. All right. So you're gonna blend that up. Yeah. And uh, there we go. Give it a bit. <laughs> As you can see, once the bananas get in, it'll get a lot, a lot lighter. Because you might initially be thinking that, oh, it's so green. And then if it needs just a little so bit might more need a, liquid. Yes. <laughs> See, that's a strong blender, but it needs a bit of help as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about going off feel for these things. Yeah. So you, you are now completely, absolutely plant... So wait, the difference between being completely plant-based plant -based versus completely vegan, what is that? What's the difference there? A stereotype? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's generally, you know, that word comes with a bit of a uh, connotation with yeah. it. Plant-based, you know, I travel a lot and, you know, sometimes I probably screwed up in my, yeah, it's, in my it's, time, yeah, but I try my best. Especially when, when other people are catering. Right? Yes. But as, part, as far as possible, you try and uh, keep your choices yeah. to be more Just plant. Just being aware. Good stuff. Oh, it's doing some real work. That's looking good. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. All right, then we get our ball. Off. It's almost like a like an ice cream. Oh, yeah. Like it an ice is. cream that's just come yeah. out of there. So you can see it's like oh, yeah. really thick. Do you do the whole like dressing up thing oh, yeah. when you post on, on social media? Oh, that's yeah, that's make it Instagram <laughs> worthy. Right. Let's see, give, give us some tips on how to make your um, presentation Instagram worthy. Well, you get a nice ball like this one. Yeah, <laughs> first steps. <laughs> And then we pop it in. There we go. SMS the keyword drink to 33728, by the way. I'm going to taste a little bit of this. Smooth that out. That is good. Oh, that is good. <laughs> mm, mm, it's got mm, some mm. fresh berries. Okay. 
And like the very Instagram thing to do is to put that on like one side. Yeah. <clears throat> there you go. So. So do you kind of separate the berries? Separate the berries. It's killing me. These are in one bowl. You know? <laughs> Making my life real difficult. CD, I can't deal. <laughs> All righty. Just like so. There we go. And then we... Have you ever done this on TV before? Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> and some nuts and seeds, just there to we add go. some crunch. And that... And then you can get, let the rest of them just like kind of like fall on the yeah, wayside yeah, yeah. here. And make there it you look are. Nice. And then which angle would you take the picture from? From the top or from the side? From the side, man. From the side. Food photography skills tell me from the side. <laughs> Lucy, thank you very, very much once again uh, for sharing your expertise with us. No Try problem. out this at home. I can tell you just from that first taste from the blend itself, it's absolutely delicious. It's a Mr. Keyword uh, drink to 33728. And that race is on the 30th of November and Correct. 1st of December. Yep. Can people just come out and watch? Absolutely. It's great to have people out. And the cool thing is, is that if it's so around Cape Town that it's really accessible for everyone to, to get involved. So there's the 100K, the 30K and the 60K are on the Saturday and then mm -hmm. Sunday is the 21K and there's just going to be a kids race introduced soon too. Oh, lovely for the kids as well. Get them out Excellent. there. Great to have yeah. you here. Try it out at home, guys. Thank you. Dave.